have it this tall? Oh, this is getting weirder by the Whoa. minute. I tried. I tried schmoozing your mom and letting us go to the prom, but no go. We're two old maids in the making. Okay, what are you staring at? Why are you staring at Charity? Are you still thinking about that dream you had about her last night? Simone, it wasn't a dream. I saw Charity flying. And Tabitha's doll was alive. Yeah, he was running around the backyard with a little trampoline to catch her in case she fell. But he didn't get to because this net of sparkling lights came and whisked her back into her bedroom. Okay, what you're saying is wilder than any scheme you've ever hatched to try to get Miguel. But Simone, this is not a scheme. I've discovered Charity's secret, and it totally explains her hold over Miguel. He loves her. No, Simone, it's mind control. Charity is an alien. Shh, you cannot go around saying that. If somebody like Jessica heard you, she'd use it to have you locked up. So, Kay thinks Charity's an alien. Interesting. Wrong. Kay does not think that Charity's an alien. See, she thinks that she's a space cadet. I know what I heard. And I know why you said it. This is your latest plan to get Charity away from Miguel since you're grounded from going to prom. No, Jessica, I swear to you this is true. I have to give you credit, though. The alien angle's, like, totally original, but stupid like all your other plans. No, Jessica, this is not a scheme to get Miguel. I saw Charity flying. She's serious, isn't she? I'm afraid so. Look, Jessica, I know we fight like cats and dogs, but I love you because you're my sister and I don't want anything happening to you or mom or dad for that matter. So do me a favor, don't go near Charity. I promise. She's an alien who flies. And you're a psycho who lies. Kate, I told you it would be hard to get people to believe you. I know, Simone, but I don't care. I have to come up with some way to protect my family from charity. But how? How am I going to protect my family from charity? By kryptonite? Call those men in black? Okay, stop it. Charity is not an alien. You just had a crazy dream about her, that's all. Ow. I pricked my finger. Oh. I've got some antiseptic in the kitchen. Okay. Perfect way to prove that Charity's an alien. How? Aliens do not bleed red blood. There's this green or acid. I can't believe I'm hearing this. You just wait till you see this proof, Simone. Oh. Okay. Oh. Are you like that? Mm. Mm. So much for your proof, Kay. I don't understand why Charity is bleeding red blood. Of course. When she got the human body, it came with human blood. <clears throat> wow, she's pretty good. Come with me, Kay. We need to talk. Uh, of course. Simone, I saw her flying around last night, and Tabitha's doll was running around the yard with a little trampoline to catch her in case she fell. Only she didn't, and the little lights whisked her back into her bedroom. Oh, no! Okay, let's say you're right. Charity is an alien and Tabitha's doll is alive. You have to forget about it for your own good. How can I do that, Simone? Charity's alien cohorts could come and abduct me in my sleep. Tabitha's doll could be like Chucky and go on some killing spree. I have to expose those monsters for who they really are. How? You have no proof. Oh my gosh. I've been so upset I totally forgot I videotaped the whole thing. Come on, let's go in the living room and watch the tape. Then we'll expose them for who they really are. Hurry, I have something really important to show you. All right, Harry. <laughs> Brace yourselves. What you're about to see is out of this world. What's going on? Dad, sit down. You're just in time to see something really cool. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm positive. Charity is about to be exposed as the menace she really is. Everybody, you are about to see definite proof that there's an alien living right here in Harmony. <laughs>